boring to a lot of people. And I get that. It's going to happen. I just find and this is the crap I see on Facebook oh yeah I want to see people's reactions to this post sucking on Nick sucking on nicotine sucking on nicotine I don't suck on nicotine I smoke it sucking on Nick try sucking your homies dick Instead, sucking cock is a safe alternative to consumption of nicotine products. Ejaculation semen is shown to have several... It does, actually. Males... Ma uh, sorry to say this. It does. It's been tested. <laughs> several beneficial new... <laughs> Trade Nick for Dick? What the fuck did I just read? I'm done. That's coming from a bisexual man. Oh, that's the funniest thing I've read all day. <sighs> oh my fucking lord. Oh, and my face is the worst thing to be on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I, that, that's not true, but that's the way my father comes off. Uh, that's the way my father comes off when he talks about not posting my looks on Facebook. Hey there, because my face is damaged. And I can care less if it costs me a job. If it does, then... And one of my, and he's not even really a friend. He's an anime person I've met through other friends who posted it. If anyone wants to try, I'm handing out free samples of dick. Dick on deck. The dude's kidding, but that's creepy. Like, from a man, I want to smack the crap out of him. Like, stop being creepy. You give bad names to men. Seriously. It's the shit I hate. Seriously. And then I get lumped in it. I can't have doom rats coming in here again. <sighs> All the items you can want straight from the hood's about you. I can find it. You ever take a Yeah, happy react. Who's a hit? No holding back. No, 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 Nothing 
Okay. okay now I got to max these out. So now I have the sixth one. I like that they actually give you more things to get when you beat the game and I'm on a higher difficulty. Because now that's where I get some of these others. Which is really neat because I'm missing that second one there. How is everybody doing though? And good morning to everybody who I'm catching now. Uh. Yeah, because I, kn I know I'm not going to always get everybody here um, at my usual afternoon. So, it is nice to be able to catch you while I have the chance. Huh, I do love that Sorceress Knight. Never joined Angel's Discord until yesterday. See, now I feel that there's even more animosity. Because Sorceress Knight banned me from their channel over a difference of opinion. I didn't even, I just stated that some games to me just look, some games to me just are made worse because people hype it up. And Nier was a game that I said that it just didn't look fun to me. Or I just didn't like the way it... Or whatever. And Final Fantasy VII and Crisis Core are meh. Because, like, it's getting overhyped and talked about. And it was banned immediately. And now they joined Angel... They left mine and joined Angels. And said good morning. And now it just feels even more animosity there. Thank you for the hydrate, Goku. Like, like, you didn't even go into her Discord the first time? Why? Good job. Bro, it's been like that lately. What? Yeah, I know. It, uh, ever since I, I, ever since I got back from my hospital issue, it's been awkward. Like, quiet. Mercer would talk to me daily. Gone. My ch Discord's not really active, but I'm ha. 
I have more people in my Twitch page here than normal, but you see how often it's bouncing around. All I'm doing is talking. I'm not depressed. And if I was depressed? Talk to me. <laughs> Don't leave. Like, what does it matter? Everyone has depressive moments. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, this is like... And this is not the first time. Every time I've opened my mouth lately, it's just pissing people off. I say... I, I, I worried about... I don't want to state anything, but I've worried about a person... I said too much. Yes, it was overbounds, but I thought everyone knew because they part of his family, community, whatnot. I I understand. And then I over and they got mad at me. And I got Angel mad at me. I got oh, I did get banned temporarily from their channel, but we're good now. And I'm just not trying to. If you're hearing me, I'm not trying to put out names or anything. I'm just like, it's just like. Every time I say something, it gets somebody worked up now. Um, I made a mistake and added in an extra month onto my anniversary when it's actually four. I counted the first month. Because we're going on four, not five. But I counted the first month by mistake because my brain hasn't been working lately. And I'm not trying to say it's this. I'm just saying my brain has not been, in general, working lately. Um... I don't know, like, my dad telling me not to post my picture on Facebook because people may say things. Talking about my looks, again, making me hate myself even more. I got banned in Sorceress's chat because I talked about a, two games that they love. Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, they knew my feelings towards that game. They knew I despised it. And Nier. I have nothing against Nier, I just think the game just looked boring. I never once got mad at them for hating PSO. They, I don't think they hated it, but I don't think they love it like I do. I don't, like... Even if they did despise it. It's a video game. Not everyone's going to like it. I don't know. Facebook is nothing but problems. I know. Well, everyone also tr takes me as I'm always depressed when I'm not. And maybe if I was, maybe I needed it. Maybe I need to talk. Maybe that one time I need to talk could be my last. Could be anyone's last. Not mine specifically, but like maybe instead of bitching or leaving or, you know, being the one thing that someone doesn't want you to do, I'm just saying. Maybe I feel the third wheel in a lot of cases. Like, I don't know. I'm still awake because this is my life. And unfortunately, it's not the best one, no. But I'm trying to make the best of it now, especially seeing as I've found somebody. Like, I found a... I found a a person that made me that makes me happy that likes similar things I do that streams something I've wanted a person who loves anime Final Fantasy and streams exactly everything I've wanted I prayed I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie when I say this I prayed for it all my life I've had two other instances where I've had women that were similar like I said I get shit in batches Angel's the third, but she's the combination of them. 
And I'm not saying that she reminds me of anyone. I'm just saying, like, I get batches. I, my one ex, I had a girl who liked Naruto and hates smoking and play video games. We play Final Fantasy. My other ex loves Inuyasha. We bonded on Final Fantasy. Ten. Ten and ten two. Angel likes Naruto, is willing to watch Inuyasha, streams, and loves Final Fantasy. Need I say more? She's the combination of both of them. Rolled into one person. I jumped at it. Yeah, I maybe fell. I maybe fell fast. But it was what she's done for me. Just, she was there for me. It doesn't take much because of how depressed I am. Or how sad I can be. It doesn't take much to make someone's day and then fall for somebody. It, 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 like, yes, she's a big part of my life. But at the same time, I feel like I'm just a pain in the ass. I don't think it. It comes off it. Like, I... That's all. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. If she's not... If she's happy... If she's not happy, she wouldn't be with me. I, 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 I see that. It's not that I don't. But I've had people, I've dated, I've dated several people for a couple years only to, for them to tell me stuff that they disliked about me. So ever since, I'm always afraid that people are just not afraid that are, that are afraid to tell me because they don't want to hurt me. It's just like, I'm tired of that. What a, I'm not, yeah, exactly. I'm not saying it negatively, though, either. I'm not trying to say, oh, I'm a pain in the ass because I'm a pain in the ass. I'm not trying to say it negatively. I'm just saying in general, I know I'm a pain in the ass. Yeah, I know I'm a pain in the ass. But, again, like, she could easily tell me. She definitely seems as excited, if not more excited, about, you know, the idea of me coming to visit and being out, going, you know, living out there. Her family knows of me. They know our intentions, our plans, things like that. Like, if there was no there, then what? that would not be a thing. My parents know of her, too. Not directly, because, well... I like to keep to myself when it comes to my parents, because, y y yeah. <laughs> I just got done explaining a lot of why. Because the one time I open up, I regret it. That's me posting my picture on Facebook. And I get told to take it down because people may see it. And that's the fucking point. What employer is seeing this and that's gonna freaking use that as a way to hire? Who hires a Facebook? Like, okay, if you're hiring your, your, your hiring somebody, you're going to look at their social media for what they are? Why? Why? So what if somebody smokes? So what if somebody does this? So what if somebody does that? Does that make them a bad person? I mean, potentially. Depends on what they do with it. But there's no fucking reason for... 
me not being able to post something on a social media that's personal to me that I don't even use to promote for a job. Or whatever reason. If I have... I have plenty of people that I worked with at Sears that were on there. That could see... And, uh, it's like, does it matter? It's not like this place is going to be like, Oh, okay, you're, 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 your cheek is fucked, or blah, 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 or... Oh my god, you lied about your... whatever. Oh my god, you dressed baggy several years. Oh no. You lied, you're not a skater boy. I, I dress skater boy. Anime skater nerd. Oh no, I dressed baggy in South Pole. Oh no. Like, that's the most you're getting. So, like, ooh. I don't know what else to say. Because that's it. When you look at my photos, you're going to see a variety of shots of me wearing shit like this. And then me wearing baggy shit. Ooh. I'm sorry. Like, 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 I'm not trying to be. I'm not. I'm far from it. Trust me, if I was really depressed, I wouldn't be here. I would be by myself. I would not be talking. And trust me, if I was really upset, you guys would know immediately. But the one time I do worry, I get told I'm being depressing, which is why I keep it to myself. You blame me? Every time I open up, I always get shafted. Two, I've had a lot of people fuck me over in life. People I've loved and trusted. Which is why I have a hard time opening. Nobody, a lot of people don't like to listen to me. Like, when I tell people that I've stopped giving my one friend that I, I'm not going to say X, because I don't like saying that. Because, yeah, she's, this girl is an ex that I gave, was giving money to, but it's not anything like that. I just want to say that, preference, that the she's is an ex, but it's nothing like that. I didn't give her money because of this. I gave her money because she needed it. Or whatever it came at it came to me during a harsh time, and that's who I am as a person. I'm a I like to help people because I'm a nice person. And that's all. You know, she took advantage of it, and I had to boot her out of my life. Right to anyway. She, like she's gone, but she's—I can still see her trying to message me. The only way to get rid of it permanently is just to ignore it. Because she's not getting any more money out of me unless I give it. But I'm sorry, I'm not gonna let. Even if they just come out of my life out of nowhere, don't talk to me forever and just go, oh, I'm sorry, my kids, this and that. I know it's not my problem, but it's not something I just want to let slide by. Because you never know that where that one freaking shameless act, uh, sh a selfless act can do for somebody. Like Angel talking to me. You never know that one selfless act can really mean someone's day. I don't want to go through my life knowing I passed up helping somebody because they are a bitch to me, or were a bitch to me, or it hasn't changed. Like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it anymore. The only person I plan on spending money on now is myself, Angel, and possibly actual friends, but...
relationship wise or feelings wise i don't give a fuck about this girl and she lives in pa Eh. not my thing i'm good i've dated her i dated her back in high school she's played mind games then i'm good And I'm going to put you on blast. Fuck you, Megan. I don't have much water up here. But yeah, no, I, I'm happy. I'm very happy. As long as other people are happy. That's what I care more about. <coughs> Other people's happiness. She also made me a fast, immediate mod, too, on her chat channel. Like, that doesn't happen a lot. She didn't have to do that. But she did. But she did. And I'm still a mod. It's not like she took that away from me. But no, I definitely do give more to all of you guys. And I'm happy to do so. You don't have to give a damn ounce back. No one does. No one has to give a damn anything back. I am happy to be there and help. That is what I want to do. That is what I do. Finally managed to get those doom rats, huh? Thanks, guys. We're so good. Hey, hear me up. It, well, I'll make it worth talking up to. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Seventh, I can see it now. We're gonna get it. I failed that one or that one uh, or I never grabbed that one lost friends on the prowl Last friends on the brawl, job well done and problem solving. Yeah. 
Something's wrong. Let's check. Cool, can I? Don't take your eyes off. Can I do other things? I hope everybody's doing fantastic today. I hope everybody's doing good. Sorry if I'm just moving. Mm. Hey, this looks like got the latest novel casting for me. Hello, hello. I'm guessing you're that nurse. People were right. So some Drake can't have that my regulars. I'll handle it. Much of luck. Head on over to Good luck. I'm counting on you, my friend. Narjan's the one with all the details. Don't forget to stock up before you go. Get off me, assholes! I didn't do shit! Shut up, punk! Or what, huh? Screw you! What's Come going on? on? Why you Somebody gotta do me like went that? and stole some blasting data from a Shinra warehouse. So public security started asking questions, and you know how Johnny gets. It's because of the reactor bombing, I bet. I could be wrong, but something tells me they're not gonna settle for just roughing him up this time. We've got to save him, Cloud. Is he Avalanche? No. He doesn't really know what we do. But he has his suspicions. And he's a talker. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should go alone. I'm coming. Uh, are you sure? It's the least I can do. Lead on. <sighs> Thanks. Come on. You just got hit by a heavy storm. Oh, that sucks. Stay safe, everybody. Yeah, stay safe, everyone. I swear, all he had to do was keep his mouth shut. Yep. Anyway, you distract the officers and I'll figure something out. Let him go. Hmm? Who are you? The cavalry? Is that who I think it is? Oh, hell yeah! You guys really came to save me! Out on the hoop! Hey! What do you think you're doing? You really got Yeah. <laughs> Do it right away. 
take the lead. Okay, let's go. Yes. Yes. Bingo. That. Uh, so, is it over? Yo, anybody Back there? So if you're there, then help me. All right. What now? He's a talker. Huh? Whoa, whoa! No! Uh, you're not gonna... Hold up! Wait! Don't, oh. don't do it, man! You wanna live? Then get the hell out of town. <laughs> you, you got it, boss! You ain't never gonna see my face again! I swear! <laughs> Are you sure about this? It's a big risk. I know, but... It's fine. And them? No more. Cloud, you're scaring me. <laughs> we need to go before they wake up. I'm more worried about us. Right. What? It's just... How? I suppose it's... Yeah. Your eyes. They used to be... It's the Mako. Soldier, remember? <sighs> I remember. So, what do you want to do now? Head back to the bar, or do you want to tackle another job or two? Adam's got games. Your alternate account? What happened to your other one? Or you're just ha you just have multiple. Us? Awesome. Or do you just? Well, good morning, Adam. How are you? I hope you're doing fantastic. Oh, you have three down. <laughs> Nice. I didn't hear. That's cool. That is smoosh. That is cool. Ah, God damn it. I forget the table. Yeah, that, I don't like that at all. <laughs> ah, come on. But that's cool. Good morning, my friend. Factory's off limits. Drakes have been spotted inside. Huh? Wait a minute. Tifa? Don't oh, tell me you're here to take yeah, care yeah, of those yeah. things. Are you? Yeah, no, I'm just In that case, be my guest. On. We believe there's at least two like groups lurking somewhere wrong. inside the factory. Find and cull them all.
If you're gonna be a friend, might as well be a good one. I love... I'm not here to be a dick. I know I'm here to make friends too. But when you word that like that, it comes off wrong. I'm sorry, it's just, it just... It, it bothers me that I've been banned for opinion. Instead of just them voicing theirs the about like they my messy. opinion, Need they could have told me breathe. instead of just banning me. Because that's not how you, that's not a friendship, guys. You don't just sit there and tell your friend if they piss you off that you're, you don't just sit there and end a friendship, do you? Reports said the like, drakes looked like they were nesting. Now, I know there's bad air now between me, Sorceress, and then it's gonna... He's just gonna go over to Angels full on. Just got home from work? Nice. The problem is, is I know he just dipped my Discord and went on to Angels full on. Because I saw he joined in there when I thought he was already part of hers. My biggest issue is he's using that as an escape. And I don't want him bringing that crap and sitting there adding animosity between me and for her now. Because he's not happy with me. Like, I don't know. Like, on top of my incident and that now, I feel like there's just bad air. Host and Lurk, oh, I appreciate you, Adam. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, my man. I'm gonna follow your backup account just in case. Thank you so much. What is your other one? Adam got game. You can all you can shout out your uh, shout out your other channel. Don't hold back. I know it's Adam song got game or whatever. But it, I just uh, feel free to shout your other channel out, my friend. So I don't get it wrong. Keep it together. But I appreciate the lurk and the host. Ah, uh, thank you, PBG. Let's go. I appreciate it. There you go, you're a mod for me now. I know that's a little much, you don't have to worry about it. Um, I made you a mod. Don't feel like you have to at all. It's just because I'm, gro I'm growing with a lot of you guys as friends and several of my community, uh, several of these other communities feel like a second home to me. Yours, Angels, several others. And you're already were a VIP. Like, VIP and mods are basically friends. The closest to me. Well, for one, you're... You're active here. You talk to me. You straight up shouted it out, Adam, for me. And... It's just... You're an awesome person. I know, I didn't have to. And I appreciate you for that shout out. Like I also appreciate you. Be, you're you're here for me. You were here for me, talking to me right now. Just just hearing me. Like it doesn't like. You guys are awesome. And even if you guys didn't help boost, you know, give me any of the love that I've given or shown or drop money or bits or whatever. I know I have quite a bit of mods, 
here and there. Like, I... A lot of people... But personally, my mods and VIPs are more my brother and sisters and angel, basically. You, you guys are family to me. The closest to me are the VIPs and mods. That that's that's why. So I wanted to pay that back. And you deserve it. You earned that. You earned it just now by shouting out Adam and just being here. I appreciate it. Best I can. Just like with T. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it. And don't and don't feel you have to um, join more often because you're a mod now. Join in whenever you're free. I know you're busy with your streaming. You got your other people as you moderate. Your you got your other personal life. I know not everybody can join in, but I do appreciate the work you've done just by being here for me today. As well, a few weeks back, I said, yeah, I got you. Hey, if you feel you don't want, if you feel it's too much, I can always, always just put you back at VIP, but. If you ever, if you ever feel like you just don't want to, and you have already a little bit much on your plate with your streams, your modding, and whatever, I'll, I definitely understand. That's why I'm here. That is why I'm here. Like Angel doesn't have to. Angel doesn't didn't have to mod me. Either. Yeah, I was sh I was shouting out people for her earlier. I don't have to do that. I want to though. That's what I do. I want to make even especially if I am active and there and I'm not streaming and they're streaming. I want to make it so they don't have to really deal with that as much. You know, I I want to make it. The com I want to make it as comfortable for the stream as possible. But yeah, if you ever feel like you just don't want to do it because you do have a lot of work on your plate with your streams, your fam, your 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 ends, and other people, and work or whatever, I definitely understand. I'm always here. Ooh, that wind. God. Thank you. I appreciate it. I usually have... I keep a lot of you guys tabbed up for that whole time. And then I bounce around to your raid. And even when I do pop in with a lurk, I am there. Most of the time, I am there, 100%, watching, bouncing around between several of those streams. After that, I usually chill and don't talk much, but I am there. I'm actively sitting at my computer. <laughs> so whenever people see me pop in with a lurk, I am there. I don't just sit there and be like, oh, I'm lurking. Damn it. I just let you know I'm popping in. 
and then I tend to go quiet because I usually game in the background or watch things, but actively I am there. I'm at my computer. Like when I mod for Angel or if I mod for anyone else, I am there. I only really talk in angels when people come in, so I shout them out. I don't really oftenly say to too, too, too much. Even in her. But yeah, no. Mercers, supplies, angels, whoever else I mod for, yeah. I'm I'm there. I'll pop in three three legs. I'll pop in. I'll I'll say a lurk to theirs and then I'll have them up. So same with yours. I'll pop in, leave you a lurk. Hang out, say some words, and then, you know, I fade, but I'm still there. I just stop talking. I just slow down. Yeah, try my best with tabs, because sometimes it pulls. Yeah, it does. It. Uh, I notice it's chugging on my OBS here sometimes. You had a bad week this week. So, no. So, you know, thank you. No, thank you so much. You're really... That's why th that's why it it feels so awkward right now like with me on stream earlier people thinking I was depressed when I was just talking sorceress banning me I, I just feel I don't know on top of it all I just like what is life doing to me <laughs> what did I do But yeah, no. I really appreciate it. That's why it meant so much to me to see Mercer, Angel, you, everyone that were that that was there, like people on Facebook and everything. And I appreciate you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything you guys would do for me. You guys are amazing. <laughs> you guys do make me happy. That locked, locked up tight. Like. Wrong direction. Okay, so that's a mission I gotta get. But yeah, no, you guys make me happy a lot. I don't know what else I would do if I didn't have... If I didn't gain the community that I've gained, I don't know. I would still stream, but, like, I don't know. Be definitely more quiet. I just found a niche. That's why I'm comfortable, but when it breaks that mold, I get kind of worried. <laughs> Like, me and Angel talked heavily the first month, the and then it, it slowed, and I'm just like, did something happen? I used to take personally if someone was having a bad day and snap because it was like, yeah. And if I do ever snap on anybody, I apologize <laughs> or snap in general. But yeah, no. I'm trying to control how I can be sometimes because I know people. I know most people do put their life on Twitch. Or streams, but there's a lot that people don't, and I'm pretty much putting everything on Twitch because I don't know how to not do that because I am who I am. But yeah. Can you come down lower? No? Alright. I just want to get in the ears. Hey, Keep 
those gloves up. Sure thing, coach. It's not the person I'm feeling it, but part of my autism. Yeah. I did. I definitely am trying to fight. Having moments where I snap fully. Because some people may not want to hear it. You know what I mean? Some people may not want to hear it in general. Not specifically getting yelled at by them personally. But I could easily say something and someone could easily be having a da bad day and just immediately just go off. Like, yeah, like... But usually I'm a very- I'm- I'm just generally a nice guy in general. Happy hunting. It takes a lot to really get me going. And once I talk about it enough, I relax. Uh, a lot of people at work freaking sit there and say shit half the time about me, you know, explain- I make a mistake and I want to explain it and people are telling me to relax and quit freaking out when I'm like, Did I Am I freaking out? All I said was, hey, I did this. I'm sorry. I have anxiety, guys, and depression. I grown up getting bullied and hurt and used and lied to. Yes, things are going to easily stress me. And if something bot and if and if so if I make a mistake, I want to explain it. I don't like leaving it like that. I feel horrible about it. That doesn't mean I'm going, oh my god, life sucks. I hate my life because I suck at my job. I did this and that. I'm so sorry. I will say, however, life sucks when I fuck up enough to where it costs me. Because I've lost many jobs many times and only had one full held job in the time that I've been working. So it that's why it's a big deal that I'm working at a place like this and not just leave. I could have left Sears a long time ago and I worked there for three years. I'm going on, I'm getting nearly hired already at this job now. I've been going on the, I've been going on the several month time frame that I need to be hired. And I, I don't want to risk that now, especially with 18 an hour, a decent job that's 20 minutes away from me. I don't want to risk... I don't want to risk that, you know what I mean? I don't want to risk finding another job that has even people less people I love. For one, I've met my friend Ryan, too. I, I, I can't. But like I said, we all human. When I snap, people get thrown because... Yeah. No, I mean, I definitely get that. I definitely, definitely get that. Most people are like, what the... F Trust me, people have heard me snap. People are like, that's not you. Because it takes a lot. But I have some bad anger. Gotta love school. Not oh, <laughs> exactly. Hey like, uh, I have some pretty bad anger. Everyone you? does. No. So when I snap, people are like, what the hell just happened? Because people, I'm not kidding, people have con people have considered me the equivalent of a school shooter because I'm the, I don't like saying this, but I'm quiet. But when I snap, it can get pretty, pretty out of nowhere. So I've had people go, don't shoot up a school, okay? I'm like, wow, just fucking wow. I get, I get pissed off, but do I give up that energy? Good God. Yes, I've had people say that to me. I'm like, dude, I didn't, I didn't do anything. All I said, all I got was upset about something. I have bad issues. Yes. I put hole in a wall over a girl and, you know, whatever. I've harmed, I've never harmed myself. I've harmed walls. I've broken a controller. I haven't done that in years, though. I haven't had... Mm, I have... To be fair, my snapping on Twitch has 
mild compared to what people have seen personally. Like, people I know personally. Because I, a couple of friends have seen me bust my controller. A friend has seen me put a hole in a wall. Well, not a friend. Old friend. Fake friend. This one friend is the same friend that claimed to be my friend, but then spread AIDS rumors about me mid many years ago, and I almost put a fucking hole in his face. In front, and then I almost put, a, and then I put a hole in a wall in front of him. This was after that incident. You know, the reason why he doesn't fuck with me. I had a kid spread age rumors about me once because I dated a girl who was a slut. I hung out with him because, you know, I try to be cool with him because I don't have a lot of friends and... A girl cheated on me. I put down the phone and put a hole in the wall. I haven't done that since. If Angel were to cheat on me, I would be mad. But I wouldn't go and be like, fuck life and bah. I'll punch something. But I wouldn't, my anger is nowhere near that bad anymore. Because, for one, she's subsided a lot of it. Two, you guys have subsided a lot of it. But I'm being honest. If it, if Angel were to cheat on me, yes, I would be very depressed. Very hurt and very alone. And I would not be on stream for a while. Does that mean I'm going to be constantly going, Oh, Angel doesn't love me. Fuck life, this, that. No, like, at the time, maybe. But it's... I would keep that to myself, because I don't want to sit there and bring that upon everybody. No one deserves it. Yeah, that, like, no one... And plus, no one... But no one deserves that, though. Like, no one would deserve to hear that shit. Like, my point of this conversation isn't to, is is me thinking Angel's cheating or anything. It, it's it's the point of the fact that if it were to happen or any female that I'm in love with, yeah, I'm gonna disappear. People may hear it at first on Discord or something or on Facebook. Facebook definitely. But I'm not going to be bitching about how she's this and that and whatever. I would. Ju I want nothing but the best for her. I want nothing but the best for Angel. I, I love her. I, I care about her. There's no denying it anymore. Like, even if even if it's turning people away or turning her away, which I don't think it is, but I, it can come off strong. Yeah, but she's been there for me. Like, even if it happened, I would not bring myself to hate her. I can't. I'd still be there to support her. That's just who I am. Just because she did, just be, and, and I'm, it, it hasn't. It's not, and, and it's not gonna happen unless I force its hand, but our relationship like that has n like no bearing on like her being generally a good person. Some people just, eh, but I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, you cheated on me. You don't deserve any sort of this and that. No, that's not true. So I've come a long way and I've matured a lot. She, she deserves to be happy too. And everyone does. Unless you are out there raping people or whatever, but. In general, if you're a bad person, fuck you. What goes around comes around. My good kindness has finally rewarded me with a girl. A woman who I can finally call my own. That's why I get the way I get sometimes. Because I'm worried. Just because I've been hurt. I'm not saying she is. It's just... Sometimes when things happen, you kind of just either see it coming or expect it. But I don't want to sit there and expect it because then it will happen. But no. She deserves to be happy too. Everyone does. Unless you're out there being a cunt. I've been single. Damn, that sucks. Well, see, I was single for a good decade 
after my last ex, so I feel that. But that was a choice on my part. I'm also just... I'm bad in general with talking to women. Like, I'm shy. I'm awkward. I've tried. I've talked to a couple people out in PA. Only for it to fall apart. We all know one of the instances is a girl nearly driving me broke. Mm, different situation. It wasn't like I was trying to get with this person and I hooked them up with money. It was... They came back into my life at a bad time and needed some money and I was there for them and then they used it. Another girl I tried talking to who was smoked and all that. She... I accidentally... My phone auto-corrected my words from like you to love. I didn't love this girl. I didn't know her. I met her once. I love Angel. I fell in love and I, I haven't even met Angel and I fell in love with her immediately. There is a big difference. This girl that I was talking to in the past wasn't even there for me because it was just I met on the internet. Angel, I was there. She was there for me prior when we met. We talked. And she was there for me. And that's where the love sparked. And she's dealt and put up with my I love you for months now because of what she's done for me. Like I said, our anniversary is tomorrow. But I do get scared that I'm gonna fuck up because I'm used to fucking up. I'm not saying I'm a fuck up, but I'm used to saying something wrong or, you know, whatever. Or losing or getting hurt and I'm not saying she's gonna hurt me or see I f hmm I'm gonna press issue Yeah, see, I feel... I don't know. Like, I was just trying to say good morning, and no, uh, like, I just felt ignored. I don't know. I see Angel said good morning. I said it late, but... Between her and Sorceress saying it, I'm ignored. I don't care. It, it hurts a little because I feel ignored. And I don't know why. I feel ignored now because I feel like there's a... There, I just feel there's dead air somewhere. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Doesn't mean I want a man. Just put me off. Yeah. No, I, I get that. Like... I just want to... I don't know. Like, I don't... I get it. Not everyone's going to respond to something, but... I was responding to her saying good morning, and... Now I just... I, it just I felt ignored there. Very... Not saying I am, just that it feels that way. <sighs> I'm not saying I am. It just said, I just, it's just, I don't know. When I have, when there's interaction going and I try to jump in and then I don't get talked to because one person is pissed at me, I feel, it just feels dead air-ish. It feels, animo it just feels there's animosity. And I feel like Sorceress is trying to bring animosity. For no reason. Because he left my Discord to go hers when he wasn't in hers to begin with.
don't know. I'm very happy. It's just... I definitely just feel... I just definitely feel there's just some animosity in dead air somewhere. And I'm sorry for anyone who's popping into my chat and is hearing this, but... It's been like this since my return. The dead air. Like, I feel like I did something yesterday during my stream with Fortnite, and now with Sorceress banning me. Alright, I just have a thing when people hype up something. They're making it impossible wanting me to play it. But whatever. They love crowded places, like the road to the station. They'll also go wherever there's free food. I see a lot of cats hanging out near the beginner's hall, too. They love crowded places, like the road to the station. What's the source of all? How is everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. And here we are. Looks like a real you must be tough. Same as you. Actually pretty good. Could use a little something. How about a refreshing cup? Tifa. Yeah, I'm... F hey. Do you... Maybe. I see. Whatever. In that case, want to head back out and look for more gigs? Yeah, why not? Kingslayer's on. Why do I have a gift? Oh my god. Oh, I gifted subs. That's fine. Kingslayer's live, guys. Go send love. If you guys want an amazing streamer, that's one right there for you. Gifted ten subs in my own chat. Is that interesting? I didn't even notice that icon. I was like, uh, okay. Sorry, I gotta take my medicine.
Those disgusting vermin deserved what they got. Got rid of those drakes in the factory, did you? You're the real deal, all right. I've worked with my fair share over the years. Anyway, you're needed. Apparently, another flying bat that you can't get enough of this. Well, <coughs> now I get it. If you're good, may not know you. I know a man who's found his cup. I switch out my stock every so often, so drop by when you're in the neighborhood. Welcome. I'm always getting in new stuff to keep up with the latest trend. Always a pleasure. If you're planning to, might want to buy some extra supplies. Shops on Culvert Street. Those disgusting women deserve it. Don't rush it and drop your tools. Take your time now. He said he was leaving town. That would make him one of them. We no longer have a rat problem. Oh. What are you thinking? You got something to say? The child's a child. Can I hire you to babysit Next my kids? item on the ground. Can we expect Shinra to perform any ma- The guy who lives over there has got a- Here is a mind. Here is a Where it is, you got rid of our oversight of that problem. Got new numbers, monsters late this month. Follow you on Twitter. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. If you guys have any social media, feel free to message me on them. Oh, if anybody has any social media that they want me to help out, follow, whatever. That way I can know when you go live. Just send me a message on Discord. I'm going to use the washroom. Think you're up to it? I'll handle it. You're a lifesaver. Doubt anyone else around here stands a chance. Go get him, bud. Yeah, Twitter and Facebook and all that. <laughs> it's all good. I actually followed you back from that. Yeah. Yeah, I really I use Facebook, Twitter and stuff like that. I just don't promote it that much. Aside from like on the page. Just because it was it was personal use at one point if you want to count it that. Then it became a way for me to promote. Hmm. 
Go send love to eggs and bacon. He's currently streaming Metroid Prime right now. Sadly, I, Twitter was the first thing to... I don't know to join network groups. Yeah. Yeah, see, I didn't really, like, do any of that specifically. I just promoted on Facebook and Twitter and such. I made separate pages. I made a Facebook page separated that I promote as well on. So I promote on two pages, my main as well as a separated one. The Discord was the one that I made that I can stay in contact with people. Discord was... Originally I made Discord so me and my friend Tom can talk and, and you know, be heard like we're talking on a phone. My best friend. It, I grew. I just enjoyed, I game normally. And before you know it, I just enjoyed doing it, but on camera. And then my Discord grew. Because it started with Skype. And stuff, and TeamSpeak and stuff like that. And then, bolt oh, fell off. And I found Discord. And it grew and while my friend Tom now is a lot busier than he was at the time because he's a dad and all he's got a family and everything I convert he he doesn't have the time to really stream anymore or whatnot but he pops in when he can he always pops that love every now and then you'll see a name zero slayer pop in with a sub He's all he he's that best friend who will always, no matter what, just pop in and say hello. And Zero probably has been here and there on and off lurk. He probably I wouldn't be surprised if he's here or has been here or heard, you know, or uh, he has, you know, just listening, not actively being here, but I wouldn't be surprised. He also was there to check out my YouTube channel back when I used to do YouTube. And he was that one friend that I would, that would watch me. He didn't have to do that. He, he's always been there for me. I tried to, I tried to help his channel grow too, but unfortunately with his life and him being, you know, a working man father and everything, it just didn't, it just wasn't in the cards for him. He does it every now and then. He games. He just he doesn't have the time like I do to stream. But yeah. So whenever I do see that, it means a lot. Sometimes that one sub can make or break a person. You know that one. That one. That's I see you in there, PBG. <laughs> I see you popping over there. Thank you. But like. Um, that, that one instance where he may need somebody, he was there for me. So is Angel and several other people, Mercer and all of them. They were there for me. I want to return that favor. So... That's all I ever want to do. I, I thank everybody. Like, the consistent near, like, over 20 to over viewer count that I've been holding this entire time. This is the highest I've ever seen outside of a raid. Like, I know I've been streaming for almost 24 hours now. And I've done several 30 hours. And I never hold the number this big. And it just, it's enough to know that people are coming and going and still sitting here a lot of it. And you guys are listening to me. Regardless of what's playing. Like. And no one is questioning why my face is fucked up. Oh, there's Angel. Angel. 
Like, no one... No one's questioning... My face. You know what I mean? No one knew is like, what the fuck am I looking at? I've had people come into my stream and go, what the fuck? And I'll have nothing on my face. It'll just be my face. And I've had people literally start talking shit about my face. On stream before. And I'm just like... <laughs> So it's just like, everyone, anyone here right now, anyone new can just come in and be like, what the fuck beat you with an ugly stick? I'll make fun of myself. It's to be funny. But yeah. <laughs> no, nothing beat me with an ugly stick. <laughs> Yet. I fell out the wrong side of it. I, f I fell on the wrong side of my bed or my stupid shelving. Uh, thank you for joining the guild. I appreciate you, Lani. Lani Lama. I got it. Most of the time, I am on the shoutouts. But if anyone beats me to it, I appreciate it. Because I'm usually right. I'm right here. There you go. Ooh. My favorite little B song is Ooh, I. Yeah, I get called Lil B a lot. Uh, the bass god. I get called the bass god a lot. A lot of these people that I'm, like, hooking up, they're very awesome people. A lot of other... I, I say a lot of them. I generally mean pretty much everyone, if not everyone, I support is an awesome person. It's just the way I talk. Um, and I'm just... That's why I'm bad with words. But, like, they're awesome people. I'm still even gonna support Sorceress. Do you have that? What's my name from? It is Lil B. Yes, but it's not the artist. It's my initials. Take that. My, my, my full initials plus my birth year is BML89. LILB891 or 0891 is because 891 or 89 is taken. And my, my friends used to call me, Insidious Magic, thank you for the follow. A couple of my friends used to call me B from the movie Half Baked. He killed Killer B. There is a guy in that movie who used to say that by the name of Scarface. I have a scar on my face. That's not why, but I added I added to it. The the, the scarring face part that that was added. Um but my name came from Half Baked and my initials. I do like Lil B. is he's an he's an okay artist. He's not not bad. I, not my cup of tea. I've never really listened to him. I don't really listen to a lot of music. I like a lot of variety of music from rap, you know, rock and stuff. Lil B. is not exactly an artist I listen to. To be fair, my name does not come from that. My name does not come from him, his handle at all. It's been a nickname of mine forever. Like, my nickname has been Lil B since 
my early days on like MMOs and stuff like that. I've always called myself Lil B for many years. Before I even knew of that artist's name. My original, my old friends back back when back when a um back when some of my friends were alive, they would call me B. Or, you know, eight ball. Ah. Mm. Oh, I just bit my tongue. Ah. My friends, when they were alive, they used to call me eight ball. Ah, uh, Lil B eighty nine was born out of that. Bit my tongue. Oh. Uh, you got a good name. Thank you, thank you. For anyone who doesn't know what happened, I had massive. I I had two seizures, and I. I don't even know how it happened. I don't know how I fucked my face up, aside from falling and hitting that, probably. Because the reason why I know is because I have a carpet. I have a rug on the floor that had blood on it. I have a Pokemon ru a carpet rug that had blood on it on the head. And well, it's right in front of that. And my and and my my dad heard me fall twice. All he hears is bah. So he's assuming I fell out of bed. I am okay. I'm okay. Yeah, unfortunately I have medication now. Unfortunately I had seizures. So just in case because I've I'm going to be honest, I've suffered a lot of brain trauma. I've suffered brain trauma. A lot of brain trauma in the past. I have a scar here. I hit my head there twice. I I have had suffered a bit of brain damage. So that in order for them to prevent it or figure it out, they wanted to see where it could have happened. So I went and got scanned yesterday. So I got to wait for the results to come uh, to come back in. So I can go back to work. It's because I'm out of work right now. And I not only gave myself a black eye. Here. I not only have a black eye. My lip was swollen to hell over here. You can, if you were to be, if you were here in person, there's some damage underneath my chin, along the jawline, and then my tongue. My lip was severely swollen, and my tongue has got like blister on it, or blisters on it, meaning I was on the verge of like biting my tongue or I, I potentially could have choked and swallowed on my tongue and died because <laughs> it could have swelled up <clears throat> i'm doing a lot better but this was here fun fact i took this pill i took this photo or someone no either i took it or my dad took it or someone took it i don't even oh yeah i fucked up my cheekbone too I don't remember doing that. I don't remember taking this. That's how bad it was. Literally. My memory lapsed from when I last played a bit of this. I was playing Final Fantasy, that, right? I did a I did the bit where you have to cross dress as Cloud. And that's it. The next day. The next day after that. Bah. Me in the hospital. Woke up, looked like I just got beat with an ugly stick. Here is my return yesterday. This was yesterday. You could see the results. And yes, I haven't really... I showered already, so if anyone's wondering why my hair is all disgusting... 
And it's because I wasn't caring about showering those past couple days. Well, for one, I slept most of it. <laughs> so I wasn't gonna shower. But I have showered. Um, my hair is just disgusting. But that's that's me after returning. Yeah, it was fucked up. But that would have to um, I'm gonna be honest. My my jaw hurt. My my cheekbone hurts. My tongue hurts when I talk too much and try to eat because it's got swole. It's it's gotten swole a little bit and it's got like these sores on it. So every time I talk, my tongue, it's kind of like the sides of it puffed up a bit. So it kind of yeah. But yeah. Uh, but right here too. Like if you were to feel right under my chin right here. There's a bump. All right here is fractured. Cheekbone hurts. It's not that bad anymore. But yeah. My whole entire face right here. Was yellow. You can see it though. You can see it. It was way worse. It was really yellow. I look tired. Like really, you saw the picture. Like, I just looked dead tired. I had seizures. I don't know what happened, but now I have medication. Oh, yeah, don't even get me started. Don't even get me started on that lip, though. It's still there, just not as bad. But you could see the jaw. You could see the fret. You could see the, the damage on my chin there. You could see the damage on my lip. My fractured bone, my nose even, was apparently fucked up. It, that, like, it, my nose didn't even hurt, but, like, it, it, on top of that, I already have, I, I already have, there's my eye. I already have scarring. I have suffered enough brain damage. For anyone who doesn't know, I was pushed down the stairs as a kid, cracked my skull open. So I've... Which is why, which is why that, which is why the seizures are a problem. Because the biggest thing they were like, "Are you okay?" is to check my brain activity. I am definitely slower. Not like derpy slow, but I take longer to pick up on things. I think it's because I have suffered brain trauma growing up. I've been hit in the head with a shopping cart. Like, when you're in the shopping cart as a kid, the crate that you, that holds you in came down on me. I don't know how that happened, so I had blood gushing down my head. I fell out of a tree once, hit my head on the ground, on the root, on the floor. Like, bah. Then that. Like, I had that. I was pushed down the stairs. I've had a lot of injuries to my head. Yeah, it's rough. Yeah. I love everybody. I really do, and I'm sorry if everyone's... If this all sounds depressing. Jeez. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm j I'm sorry. I'm I'm actually reading I'm reading Eggs' chat there a bit. Apologize. I was kind of That's me. My that's my attention span. I see things moving. 
instant immediate grab. My, I have a very bad attention span. Yeah, I, be, I have pretty bad ADD. Or ADHD. A lot of people let me know how bad I am sometimes with my uh, attention span. One minute I'm like, ooh, next minute I'm like, oh, ooh, pretty butterfly. I'm not kidding. I can literally be like going somewhere and then I can be like, ooh, bug. Even though I hate bugs, it's just, it catches my attention. I'm that guy. I'll sit there and stare into space and literally not only stare into space, but blank into space. You can literally be going, hey, 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 and I won't hear you. It happens a lot. Ow. Yeah, I forgot to mention the inside of my lip has like sores on it because of this now. Kind of, it, it, yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Anyway, I'm not here to be depressing. I pre- uh, if anyone who's thinking I'm upset or anything, I'm not. I'm, I, I just like to talk, and I appreciate anybody who's here and listening to me. Thank you. No, seriously, thank you. Because, no, I'm not, uh, ow. I'm not hurt or upset or anything. I just like to talk. It sounds like it. Don't screw this up. Like, I just want people to give back if they're going to. That's all. I don't... You don't have to. No one has to. No one uh, it, No one owes anyone anything. I just like to help people. And if you are a kind person and there, and you get more. And even if we have a fallout, I'm still going to support from the sideline. Because I still found you as a fun person. We just have a difference in an opinion because we're human beings. Keep your cool. No need to worry. <laughs>
PBG, are you freaking serious? I'm reading your ch I'm reading his chat, by the way. To a degree. Because I'm... That's normally what I do, is I just hang out. <laughs> yeah, no, that's another one. Oh, come on, really? You just decided to do that? <laughs> like, I would have had you beat if you didn't sit there and do that. Like, that that's... You had to get up? Can't afford to lose focus. <laughs>
You despise me that much, sorceress? No? Okay. Changed it and changed it back. You despise me that much. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry, dude. Yeah, I don't care if I'm at the wrong or not. Like, I no one's at the wrong, but I am the one. I will apologize. Both parties are still at fault. But... Took care of the dog, did you? Phew. We owe you one. Gotta say, I've never seen a Shinra breed like that before. Out of curiosity, when exactly did it show up? Oh, today. The first reports came in just this morning. Uh, why do you ask? Wait a minute. There's this crazy story about a Shinra research lab hidden <laughs> right beneath our feet under the... Huh. <laughs> it's a big organization. I'm sure there's lots of secrets. Yeah, fair enough. You got the bastard. That's good enough for me. I'll bet a lot of people are talking about you right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's this amazing merc who can handle anything. Nothing I've done around here has been all that special, though. Oh, so you want more of a challenge, huh? Tell me you're pretty strong. Ooh, hungry. Sorry, everybody. I'm just taking the time to relax a bit. Terminator. People tell me you're pretty strong. Thank you. That hound had us scared half to death. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. I look forward to receiving all of your future back. Nine, master all twelve types of magic materia. Oh my god.
Excuse me. On that one. 